All right, does anybody have any shout outs that they wanna do today? Anybody they wanna recognize for doing a fabulous job in their business? Just unmute yourself. I'm going to give a shout out to my girl, Ashley, who I think is on here, but she's driving, so you can't see her, but um, she's a newer coach. This is like one of the first several months of her business. And last month she didn't hit success club, but she became, she came so close. She pushed herself out of her comfort zone and got some success club points on the board for the first time. So whoop, the train's moving for the girl and Ashley, I'm so proud of you. Yay. Congrats, Ash. Anybody else? I wanted to shout out Jessica hit SC14 as her first month as a coach. And y'all, she sat as a discount coach for a while. I've shouted her out a few times, but she used the flash sale. She totally crushed it. I'm super proud of you. And I can't wait to celebrate on payday with you tomorrow, girlfriend. Yeah, Peter. I want to shout somebody out. First of all, hey, everyone. It's so good to see, like, humans. I feel like I've been stuck in my house for, like, five days because I have. Um, <laughs> I want to shout out Taylor. She is two emeralds away from Diamond, and she's working coaches and all the things. So um, she's just putting in a lot of hard work, and she just locked it. Well, she hit success starter month two. Um, so she's working on month three right now, and she's just killing it. She's becoming a really – powerful leader in our team and a, just an awesome light in a team you know how special that is you guys for that person to come in and just have that energy so i appreciate that and um keep killing a girl way to go anybody too so i want to give a huge shout out to katie and morgan who were earned my team retreat last weekend and just were super present um they had some breakthroughs so i'm really excited to see what the month of september holds for them and then she's not on the call because this literally happened like an hour or two ago but i have a new coach mandy who i'll be um, sending the recording to so she'll see the shout out and i'll be introducing her to the team Welcome. All right. I actually have a new coach, Corey. I believe this is her first night call. Um, welcome, girl. We're excited to have you here. I have one more, too. Cameron's, it's her first team call, too. So all the new coaches. Yes, newbies. We love it. All right. Now, before I dive deep, and probably get sappy on you ladies, because that's how I roll. Those of you that don't know me, I tend to get sappy. Um, just a few releases that I want to go ahead and touch base with you guys. Unless you're living underneath a rock. Um, <laughs> Pumpkin Spice Shakeology released yesterday. Everybody should know that. Um, last time I checked Carl's Instagram page, he stated that already 50% um, of the Shakeology supply was already gone. And honestly, I checked that like early, early today around like 11 a.m. So I'd imagine that it's probably 75% gone, if not 90% gone. Um, so make sure that if you haven't ordered your pumpkin spice shakeology yet, you do so and just make sure that you, um, you know, just make your people in the know. If you have a veteran challenge page, um, share it in there, share it in your current challenge group. We forget the basic things that we can just share with our people that are already in our door. Um, the work. Okay, raise your hand if you're pumped about that. Oh my goodness, he is totally my jam. Just how he's going to bring so much energy to us people that work out from the comfort of our own homes. Like I can feel his energy already and just a few things that I saw from him. So I'm super pumped about that. Those of you that haven't seen a video on our new workout program coming out, which by the way, it's September 30th, the end of this month, um, go under our BB Links app, our Bible, go under videos and type in the works. Okay, get a little glimpse, send your peeps some of those videos and also get them um, pretty hyped up about what workout program we're about ready to, you know, experience. Um, all right, promo codes. So for the number of promo codes that you used last month, you got that number of promo codes this month. So let's say that you used one promo code last month, you're gonna receive a promo code for $10 off that you can use for one of your 
new customers this month. Same thing. If you used all three of your promo codes and you got three new $10 off promo codes that you can use for your challengers this month. Um, the last announcement is $20 off our morning meltdown 100 challenge packs. That's still going on guys. If people are on the fence, Something that I always say is, listen, um, right now that challenge pack, it's currently an extra $20 off. Now you have the extra 10. Let that be an incentive to people for people that are on the fence because we as coaches know that it could go up $20 next month, which it probably will. All right, now ready for the meat and potatoes of the call. You guys ready for this? Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, so I wanna see a raise of hands. Let me go ahead and do it so I see everybody. Raise your hand if you just finished college, okay? And I want you to keep your hands raised as I ask these questions. Raise your hand if you currently got married within the last year or so, okay? Raise your hand if you had your first baby. Raise your hand if you're going through a move. Raise your hand if you're transitioning into a new career job. And this could be within the last year or two. Um, raise your hand if you transitioned into a stay-at-home mom after working most of your life. Raise your hand if you added a few more babies in the mix. <laughs> raise your hand if you had a loss in your family within the last year. Okay, that's about everybody. Um, now go ahead and put your hands down. Now, I really want you guys to take yourself to that stage of life that you were in, maybe even the first time that you went to college and transitioned to your career job or the first time that you had a baby or maybe even the first time that you're experiencing maybe two or three children for the first time and you're like, whoa, back up the truck, what's happening to my life right now? Raise your hand if you felt lost and alone. Anybody? I know I did. All right, so let me expand this right here. So each stage of life that I just listened, guys, it's just that, it's a new stage of life. That feeling of feeling lost, I want you guys to understand that it's normal. Um, I feel like a lot of times we feel like we're broken. Um, I feel like it's just a way that society can make us feel because we're so used to seeing like the perfect mom and the Pinterest mom and, you know, everybody's life being so perfect. We feel that whenever we're going through something new, um, we almost feel like we're broken because we just feel so lost in our lives. Um, that feeling, have you guys ever had the feeling of your heart just literally tightening up and then that feeling goes up to your throat? and you feel that feeling like all day long, has anybody ever experienced that? I want you to know that if you have felt that or if you're recently feeling it, it's normal. Um, you might experience a different feeling for each stage that you're in, but for me, when I personally experienced going to my career job for the first time, to getting married, to having my first baby, to being a full-time stay-at-home mom after working since I've been 14 years old, um, to being gone all the time, now being confined to four walls, big transition there, to losing a loved one, moving, all brought a different feeling on how I personally felt emotionally. But the one main thing that I always remember feeling that I could truly just like put my hands around was that feeling of just being lost in my life, okay? Now, I feel like whenever we go through these new stages of life, and if you're not there yet, guys, I promise you, the older you get, the more things that you add to your life, um, the more you're gonna be experienced this stage. But I feel like, and I'm super guilty of this, I'm really horrible at it, um, we never take a minute to reflect and truly feel what we're feeling and understanding our feelings. And my hopes for everybody today is that I can help you identify the feelings that you're feeling, why you are personally feeling them, and how you can overcome and grow through the season of life that you're in. You know, I can't help but to to laugh because I remember whenever I was transitioning from going from a mom of two to three on top of I was moving. This happened like literally within a span of six months and I was moving, I actually moved three times in three months with um, two children under the age of four. Um, and yeah, we were trying to find a new home. 
And I remember that I literally dropped off the face of the earth whenever it came to the coaching community. And I just remember that feeling of feeling so alone and so lost. And I remember that's actually one of the first times that I lost my diamond status um, ever. And I remember my coach reaching out to me and being like, what's wrong? Do you know why you lost diamond? And honestly, I was so worried about life and what I was going through that I didn't view this business as a business. It was just something that I was doing on the side, right? Um, but I want you to think of the feeling that you're feeling right now. And I want you to take a minute and describe it in the chat. So if you recently have a lost one, or if you're going through a move, or if you're transitioning from working to be a stay-at-home mom, I want you to describe that feeling that you have in your stomach um, and how you personally feel um, during that time in your life or how you feel right now. I found as I went through every stage I listed earlier, um, I think that it's important to understand that you're meant to feel a different feeling and you are meant to go through um, what was going through in your life. Like for me, whenever I was like transitioning and moving three times in three months, it was that constant reminder, even though I was like, man, someone's really like fucking with me right now. Someone's really messing with me. Like, why can't my life just be normal right now? I had to remember that everything was going on for a purpose and I was growing through this season in my life for a certain reason. Without change, without the different seasons of life, we would never grow. And I'm just going to say it, we wouldn't experience life and we wouldn't be thankful for what we have. Um, but where does this leave you right now? Where does it leave you and your business? And before I get to that, um, I have a quick story. So this happened to me recently. And this is why I share this story. Um, honestly, I don't even want to say that I'm embarrassed by it because I know that it's going to help other people that, that might currently feel this feeling. Um, so it was at the beginning of the summer. So this was about four months ago. The beginning of this summer, I was going through this new transition, right? My eight-year-old was in second grade. I had a preschooler that was going to school half the day. And I had my son, which was three, and he was staying at home with me. We got into this really good jam of, you know, me and my son, we would work, um, we would do some things together, we would go pick up my son at one, and then we would just, we would do the things. We got on a really good schedule throughout the school year. Well, what happens during summertime is, you know, kids, they no longer have to go to school, and then they're like in your area like 24 seven all the time. And what does that do? It changes the schedule um, that you once adapted to. And I feel like sometimes we feel like that's something easy to go through when really it's freaking hard. It's really hard to stop doing what you once did to then know that your focus needs to be somewhere else. Um, so anyways, I was going through the full entire summer transition. And, you know, we survived. <laughs> we did a lot of great things during the summertime. My focus kind of shifts a little bit during the summertime because I really want to experience this time with my children um, and my family. But then school started back up. And then I started to realize two out of three of my children were going to be in school for the full day. And it left me with my son that's four. And I really started to, you know... I, I honestly felt like I was going through a midlife crisis. I started to think, I'm like, oh my gosh, okay, next year Trace is going to be going to school. Life is what I once knew it of like babies being all over me. You could be going through the stage right now where you're so used to freedom, but now you're pregnant or now you're used to, you know, having a schedule on your own, but now you're in your career job. Just kind of take what I'm saying and put it into the, the place, the stage of life that you're in right now. And then I really started to, you know, question myself as a mother. Oh my goodness, did I do enough while they were young? Um, I no longer have any babies. I want to have another child, but I no longer have that option. Then I really just started to question my purpose and if I was still meant to be coaching. And I started to question my abilities to lead. I'm not sure if anybody has ever felt that way, um, that you really just truly started to question your abilities and what you're capable of, the type of heart that you have that's always there for anybody. You just, you really start to get into your own mind 
and you start to just debate everything. Um, am I a good enough mom? Am I a good enough coach? Am I doing everything that I'm supposed to be doing in a day's time? Then I started to think back and I was like, Jess, you went through the same thing when you decided to become a stay at home mom. You went through the same type of feelings whenever you moved three times in three months and you were pregnant with two other children. And then I had to remind myself that this, once again, this season of life that I'm going through to where I had kids on me 24 seven and 10 now where they're both, all three of them are going to be in school full time. I had to remind myself that this is a new season of life for me. And what I started to do is what anybody that has Google at their fingertips <laughs> is I started to do my research and I wanted to get to the bottom of my feelings. Cause if there's one thing that I've learned is I've learned to be extremely resourceful. I found that if there's anything that I want to do out of life or if I want to discover, or if I want to learn more about, it's literally right at our fingertips, ladies, anything that we want to know, you go to Google and you can type it in. So I started to research jobs. Once again, I'm doubting my purpose as being a coach. I started to research for jobs with my degree, what would be available. I started to research the pay, the hours that I would be working. Then I started to search for other jobs that I thought that I might be good at that my degree would also be able to, you know, I could be able to get into that job also. Then after I looked up this said job, I started to visualize what my day would look like. I started to walk myself through what a morning with three children, getting them off to school and getting myself ready for a job would look like. Then I started to think, how would it affect my family and how would it affect me not being able to be there for my children on a day when they really needed me, if they got sick, if they got hurt at school and I physically wasn't able to leave my job, how would that make me feel? I quickly started to realize in my moment of slumber how great in the type of opportunity that we truly have with coaching. And just by doing that little bit of, you know, 10, 15 minute research, I quickly snapped out of it. A lot of times I feel like we feel so uneasy, that feeling of feeling lost, that feeling of uncertainty. It's because it's the stage of life that we're in versus the abilities that we have as humans and the abilities that we have as coaches. I feel that we do this type of research because we feel lost. It's a new stage, right guys? And I feel like I need to repeat that. It's new. I feel like we've, we feel like these feelings aren't supposed to come or that we don't know where they're coming from. One reality that if we would just take a minute to process our emotions, we, and start to think logically, we start to realize we're about to embark on a new journey of life. We are looking everywhere else for answers besides just realizing we're going through a new stage and we need to recognize, and I really hope that I can help you recognize the feeling sooner that you're able to gain back control sooner than later. Cause guys, these feelings of feeling lost, some people I know they go on for, you know, a few months, six months, a year, a few years later, you're still feeling lost instead of taking back control today. All right. <coughs> um, all right. So I actually have some actionable items to take with you. Um, when you're growing through a new stage of life, I want you to remember that you exist too. Guys, it's that simple. We get so lost in everybody else's world. We get so lost in the chaos of, of life that we forget that we matter. And this is such a cliche, a cliche quote, but you can never pour from an empty cup. And that, that statement is true. If you feel like shit, if you're not filling up your cup on a daily basis, what happens? You're then your life is just going to shit. I'm just going to say it. I know that I don't treat my kids as well. I don't treat my husband as well. And I just feel even more lost because I'm not being the best version of me because I'm not taking the time to realize that I matter. So if you guys have a piece of paper and pencil, I have a few things that I want you guys to write down. I'm going to take a drink. All right, the first thing that I want you to write down is I matter.
daily write down tasks in personal and business that would help you feel successful. If you're having a hard time with this, I want you to think about what you beat yourself most over and that should be on your list. For me, I notice things like if I don't have dinner ready for my family, if I don't work out, if I don't log into my challenge groups or you know touch base with my coaches, if I don't read to my kids at nighttime, those are some of the things that I will stay up at night and think about. Those things should be on your list. Write down, make a daily list for personal and business. Every single morning before I do my workout, I have a piece of paper that I like to have right next to me. And I write down everything that would make me feel good if I accomplished this today. I do that every single morning. If not, I realized I beat myself up way too much and I don't deserve it and neither do you. Personal development. Guys, you know, this is no secret now. Um, I was one of those coaches where I was like, yeah, I don't need it. I don't need it. I'm good. I'm happy. You know, I believe in happiness. I believe in being positive 24 seven. People hate me because I don't believe in negativity, but guys, you need it. No ifs, ands, or buts. I would much rather you tune into personal development any day over even getting a workout in because your body, your mind, your life won't go where you don't allow it. And that is where personal development comes in. I am personally listening to Les Brown, The Power of Purpose on Audible, and I'm obsessed with it. Um, I love Les Brown for so many reasons. He has a lot of great YouTube videos, but just listening to him on Audible, it's in his voice, which I'm very particular about my Audibles. It has to be in the person's voice. If not, I won't listen to it. I can't listen to a robot. I need to feel life in my ears so that it goes to my brain, and it's just like, it's, it's just filling me up with fire. Les Brown, he does this thing where he just, he laughs at himself and I can visualize him laughing. And even in my darkest days, if I tune him in and have him in my ears when I'm cleaning my messy house that my kids just, you know, leave me to every day, hearing his laugh makes me smile. Not only that, hearing his words of wisdom, just on the power of purpose and, and just hearing how he was literally labeled as mentally retarded and now how successful he is in his own life that will fire a sister up i'll tell you that much write down that book les brown power of purpose keep involved in the community this is a choice something i've learned <laughs> quite a few times the feeling of being alone in this business is a choice. Feeling alone in life is a choice. There are tons of sisters right now that you can see on this screen that if you reach out to any single one of them, you will have their ear, you will have their heart, and I guarantee you they will hop on a Zoom and be like, sister, what's up, how can I help you? Because I'm going to tell you this right now, this business weeds out the people that don't care. So if you're on this call today, that means you are meant to be a coach, you have a kind and caring heart, and you have a heart that loves to help people. So write down, keep involved in the community. Feeling alone is a choice. Find someone in this community in the same stage of life as you. Guys, I've had all the excuses. I've said it, I'll say it again. I've said before, my coach don't have kids. She doesn't understand what a day's like for me. You, you have no idea what I'm going through, sister, in a day's time. You know what I did? I was resourceful. Before this team was full of other moms, I went and I searched for other, for other coaches that were moms, but I was specific. I didn't search just for a coach of one mom. I searched for a coach that had three mom, that had three children. Why? Because I knew if she could do it, I could do it too. And it made me eat that excuse. Write down, attend team calls, 
and find someone, find a work buddy in the same stage of life. All right, refocus, guys. Each stage of life, you need to refocus. You need to, to refocus on why you're doing what you're doing, why you're here, why you even give a damn. You need to refocus, and you refocus by first revisiting your why. You might need to dig down a little bit deeper. Guys, your, your why when you first started with us, I guarantee you if you've been here for over a year, your why has evolved. You need to take the time to process what it is that you even want. Even a few months. Yes, even in a few months. I, I really feel like your why is something that you need to post to where you see it daily. Um, but it's something that I feel like needs to be updated. As your life changes, so does your schedule. Guys, your college schedule should be different from your first career schedule to now your schedule of being a mom. Your schedule changes. You need to make sure that you schedule the things that are most important to you. <clears throat> Write down, find my jam with my new schedule. So something else that I did um, that I only had to do at one time. As I write down basically things that I need to do daily to make me feel successful in my life and in my business. But something that I did as soon as I was going through a new transition in my life, meaning that I was having two kids in school for the full day and then I was having one kid at home, I wrote down a schedule for myself on what I would be doing and when. Um, I mind you, I have a child, so it doesn't always go as easy flowing as what you know you would think that it would go. So I allow room for grace, but I do have a tentative schedule on when I'm going to be doing things, when I'm going to wake up and, and, you know, get my workout in, when I'm going to drink my shake, when I'm going to sit down and actually have a little bit of learning time for my child, because those are the things that I do that help me feel successful. And I notice that if I don't schedule these types of things or have like a daily tentative schedule for myself being a stay at home business owner, guys, we all know the day can chew us it up and then spit us out. And then it's bedtime and we're like, what just happened? Have a daily schedule. I'm more than happy to share mine with you guys if that's something that you wanna see, but it's something that continues, like I said, it continues to evolve um, as my children grow. Um, <clears throat> so write down, find my jam, I'm all about the word jam, with my new schedule. But before any of this, you need to learn to give yourself a little bit of grace. And if you start to beat yourself up, you need to remind yourself on how far you have already came and where you're going. Write down, give myself grace. I don't care if you are a new coach for the very first day. You attended your very first team call. That deserves to be recognized. That could be really stepping out of your comfort zone for a lot of people, doing something that's completely unknown. All right, one thing that remains important through every stage of life, and that is your faith in yourself, that you will figure shit the F out, right? Guys, you need to have so much faith in yourself, and I'm sorry if I keep on referring to moms. The type of faith that you want to instill in your children is the type of faith that you need to have in your own self, because guess where they learn it? You. Write down, keep faith. And I would have you write down, you know, have faith in the business, but since you guys are already here, I feel like I don't even need to say that. I feel like you guys already know that this business is the best of the best. Um, Iron Man approved products, workouts that continue to evolve throughout time. Um, the Beachbody On Demand, guys, I go way back from doing these workout programs when I was in college over 15 years ago. Hot dang, that's insane to even say out loud, but from Slim and Six in my Turbo Jam days to now just logging on to my Beachbody On Demand, I, I'm literally proud to say I am a beach body coach. Um, all right, last tip that I have for you guys is detox from social media for 24 hours. 
write down, I deserve downtime. I feel like a lot of times as coaches, we can become robots. We feel like we just need to continue to do the motions and go and go and go. Well, I'm going to tell you this right now. If you had a loss in the family, take some time off. If you're going through a new stage of life and you're going through a move, you have the ability to take some time off. Still have your non-negotiables, still set standards for yourself, but you deserve the downtime. And I'll leave you with this, all right? Each stage of life will demand a new form of you. So keep changing and keep developing. Write that down. Each stage of life will demand a new form of you. So keep changing and keep developing. Okay, and can I just, one last thing that I will say is, have you ever heard someone say to you, you've changed? Okay, I just wanna remind you guys of this. The college you should not be the career or mom you. You're meant to grow through these seasons of life. You're not meant to remain the same person that you once were. That means that we would never evolve. So next time someone says, wow, you've really changed, you need to be like, thanks. I know I did. <laughs> All right, so that's what I got. Um, do you guys have any questions? Do you guys have a certain stage of life that you're going through that you wanna open up about um, so that you don't feel alone or you know, whatever the case may be. I'm looking at the chats. Anybody else have anything that they want to add? Oh, yay, baby number two, congrats. No. Well, I just wanted to say, I know that Jess did go through a transition in June, but she did reach out like she reached out to the leaders and we got on a couple power hours at the end of that month i remember specifically in june because her and i were about to well we never were about to but we were pushing hard to keep our success club streak and it's just the power of the community guys like sometimes you just need to know that somebody else is going through what you are so you just never know who you can connect with and y'all being here is half the battle so I'm just so proud of y'all. And I'll um, say we're going to hop on a power hour after this. So if you didn't check the Misfits page or my team page, you're welcome to join us. But so good, Jess. Thank you. All right, ladies, if there's nothing else, I'll let you hop on and get some work done. Thank you. I didn't see it in your chat. Just log into Misfit and you will see exactly where the power hour link is at. It's a, it's a whole new call. All right. Thanks, ladies. Much love.